Hey guys, welcome back to the fourth episode of the Manchester United career mode series on the FIFA 18 Early Access. Hope you guys have been enjoying this. You guys have been showing some mad love on the channel and on this series. So I've been dropping you some daily uh, FIFA 18 career mode content. So make sure you're subscribed and make sure you got those notifications on. Because in this episode, we are going to be facing some very, very big games. As you can see here on the screen, we've got Liverpool away at Anfield. Such a big game in English football. One of the biggest derbies in the world. And we got a game against Tottenham coming up in this episode. So hit the like button if you guys enjoy. And yeah, we're starting off this episode with something I need to address. Uh, I was My video was shared on Sports Bible on Facebook. I'll leave a link uh, on screen or in the description. Uh, there's a lot of new people coming to the channel. So if you're new, you know, smack the like button, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'm so appreciative of Sports Bible sharing the Neymar to a uh, Real Madrid video, but we get off to the perfect star here with our man on the bench, Zlatan Ibrahimovic, the man that uh, Man United signed on another one-year deal, thank God, and he's coming back in around December uh, in real life because he has an injury, but in FIFA, he is fit and ready to go, and he can do stuff like that straight off kickoff, and with his weak foot as well, powers it past, Mignolet, I believe, is in goal, and Man United, we get off to the perfect start in this career mode, and yeah, I've, I've been thinking of starting more now that he's doing that. Uh, and Griezmann and Lukaku give them a bit of a rest. But Liverpool want to get one back in the seventh minute. Firmino is continuously on the attack. Uh, Lalana, Mane and Coutinho all threatening up top. As you can see, there's De Gea coming in clutch with a few saves there. And at defence, he's a bit shaky at the moment. De Gea is still saving those uh, mad shots that the Liverpool keep uh, attacking us with. And Coutinho is running down this wing. Uh, he's, he's, his trickery is just fooling all our defence. And yeah, he's, he wiggles away past our defenders. Uh, chops in there. He's still got the ball. I haven't tackled him. I don't know. Ta defending is so much harder in this game then FIFA 17, but Henderson has a shot there. De Gea gets his fingertips to that, but Coutinho, ball rolls here. Uh, we fail to get it out, which I've been doing so many times and I need to stop doing. Just being unable to clear the ball, and as you can see there, they get another shot and one on target. De Gea can't keep it out, and Henderson, the captain, gets Liverpool the equaliser there. Very, very poor defending on my part, which it seems to be a lot of the reasons for our goals. So hopefully I can improve on defending once the full game is out. And yeah, we won't be conceding sloppy goals like that. But De Gea did his best with those last shots. And yeah, can't really blame him, blame him on that one. Ibrahimovic, Griezmann and Mkhitaryan trying to start something here with a three-way attack. Gives the ball off to Anthony Martial and he tries to give that low cross into Griezmann. But I just didn't put enough power on it. Uh, Matic here uh, linking up with Ibrahimovic and his shot gets deflected and rattles off the crossbar. We have a corner here. Uh, nothing comes of it as of yet and Mata just blows it over the crossbar. I decided to sub him on uh, seeing he loves scoring at Anfield with that lovely bicycle goal a few years ago. But Griezmann, he's trying to get his first goal against Liverpool in the career mode. Pogba, Ibrahimovic all trying to make something happen with some nice tiki tucker football. As, he, as you can see, Rashford has been subbed on. Cuts back, trying to make something as Griezmann gives it off to Ibrahimovic and it just, you know, there was just a cluster of action going on there. But yeah, we fail to win at Anfield. We get a draw, which is decent for going to Anfield. 1-1, uh, sad we couldn't uh, score another goal or just keep the 1-0 lead, but you know, that is life. We do end up losing 2-1 to Huddersfield Town in um, this career mode. And yeah, guys, um, we lost a, a newly promoted team and they're contending for the league as well. So what can you do? We uh, win at home against Swansea 2-1 there. Wilson and Martial do get the goals. I did put a significantly weaker squad out for that game. So they scraped that as we have an important game coming up against Tottenham Hotspur at home. And yeah, guys, we're already in October, nearly approaching November. So the January transfer window is also around the corner. So if you guys uh, have any suggestions for who I want to sign in January, if I get the money, uh, yeah, leave them in the comments, you know, uh, interact with me. I'll reply to all the comments, stuff like that. And yeah, we got this big game against Tottenham coming up here. We got to, it's a must win game. We got to win this in order to remain tied up contenders. Here at Old Trafford, we go on attacking uh, to start the game off. You know how I like to do. 
attack teams from the off with the beautiful attack. I do have Lukaku's here and Lorries gets his fingertips to it as well as that Mkhitaryan little scissor kick attempt as Inaki Williams did put a brilliant through ball into them. Griezmann puts a beautiful through ball into Pogba but Lloris is having a ripper game uh, here and he gets his fingertips to another bloody header from Smalling and he's just had a great opening 10 minutes there as Spurs continue on attacking with that uh, lame shot um, from Triora I'm pretty sure it was. Human Son trying to get down the line here with Ericsson and Kane apparently in really good form according to the commentators on career mode but Ericsson blows that one wide I thought he would have scored that and we would have been in massive trouble there but Spurs keep attacking showing that they cannot just defend but they can also attack here with Traore down the wing trying to cause something puts the ball into Wanyama and it uh, gets deflected luckily from yeah our defender I'm pretty sure it was Smalling but yeah um, our defense has really been suffering as of late and lucky uh, he skied that but our defense has been uh, getting pretty low um, in quality recently because our main man Bai is out and it's really uh, hard to defend without him and Lukaku is here one on one with Loris. Loris could not get his hands to that it was too powerful from Lukaku with that left wand of a boot he's got a great left foot on him Lukaku and he keeps scoring goals in our FIFA career mode and in real life as he did score against Southampton last night as I am recording this he's going to be such a gun as I said in career mode and in real life but Mkhitaryan he's trying to double our lead he's running down the wing trying to cross the ball in to I'm pretty sure that was the Naki Williams got his head to it but Lloris makes a banging save and yeah Pogba is trying to put Lukaku through here and Lloris, oh my god, I don't know how many saves this guy's made. He's made about six quality saves that would have been a goal if he didn't get his fingertips to it. But what a keeper he is uh, in FIFA as well, not just FIFA 18, but Kane, he's in here. We're trying to take him down. He is getting through to the goal and Deli Ali with the shot, but De Gea saves it with his legs. Probably like one of the first few saves he's made all game. Griezmann, he's in here and he shoots early. Because I thought Lloris was coming out. He went a bit off his line. And I should have put that away. That was my bad. And yeah. Should have got Griezmann off to another goal in the match. But you know. What can we do? Kane in here with Triore. I don't know which Triore this is. But he just bangs at home. So easily. Our defense just stood there and watched him. So maybe in January we need to pick up a defender or two because our defense is probably the most shakiest thing about this team at the moment because De Gea could do nothing about that beautiful shot and yeah we should have put away more of our chances and stuff like that because we do get a free kick here Musa Dembele uh, takes us down in the box I'm pretty sure it's a yellow card for the Belgian midfielder but Juan Mata's got a beautiful left foot on him so we decide to give the free kick to him and it hits the wall Unfortunately, in the 89th minute, that uh, is one of our last chances and we couldn't put the ball in the back of the net for the second time to win the game. So yeah, 2-1-1 draws in a row against really quality opposition. So we could have won that Spurs game. I were pretty lucky in the Liverpool game. But yeah, um, Dean Mitchell, I think, is going out on loan to Sheffield uh, United. Whilst we have a player suspended there. And yet, we do have a uh, game up against Chelsea coming next. But this is the table so far. We're sitting fifth with 19 points. We can still get into that first place. I mean, we're only one win away from second or third or whatever. And we're only a few points away from Spurs and Man City. But Huddersfield are doing pretty well as well as Arsenal. And yeah, Everton and Bournemouth pretty much nearly in relegation as well. This is our next month of football and what you can expect in the next episode of this career mode. We've got an away game against Chelsea, which is going to be tough. We've got two home games against Newcastle and Brighton. And a, I'm pretty sure that's an away day against Scunthorpe. So yeah, that is our next month of football in the next episode of the uh, Manchester United FIFA 18 career mode. Yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed. Please smack the like button, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.